Yes, sir, Ski. Say my streams offline. Oh. Cause I could put it on my soul. I could put it on my He's soul. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see how it looks. I look pretty good. You think so, babe? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Like a wise man once told me. Fuck, I just forgot. It seemed, I was told myself I was going to say Young Dolph line. And all the Young Dolph lines just went in the air and out the other one in one millisecond. Damn. Good evening, everybody. United States of America. I hope we're all having a wonderful night here. I am. I'm having a wonderful day, night. I had a wonderful day. Um, I don't know how else to start it. I have fucking lost the groove. I haven't fucking podcast in like eight years. Did I do a show last Friday? Oh shit. I did do a show last Friday. We are here and we are live tuned in to the nightly show every Friday, the Blase show. Roll the intro, babe. Let's get this shite over with. Oh yeah, you can turn the headphones up a little bit. Yeah. Turn me up, turn me up, DJ. Turn me up. Yes, sir, ski. We are in here. Oh, I should have told you stop. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know you was gonna pull that much. <laughs> why you feel it? Why you feel it to the top like that? You watch. No, don't even do that. I was like, just. like. I was like, just pull me a little bit. No, I didn't. And when before I even, I stopped before you said stop. No. <laughs> It wasn't even that a tippy tip for real, but I don't know, man. It's all good. I'm like one third already. Am I capping? Verify for me. No, you're not. Ver- verify by walk. And you know, we are back in the $20 million podcast for the number one podcast in the earth. And we're here for another week to make history. We here doing it again, sir. This is journal entry. I'm going to start saying journal entry. This is basically a journal fucking dumbass stuff. It's journal entry 36, the Blase Show, take one, episode 36. Let's fucking get into it, man. Walking eight on the ones and twos. Oh, damn. Yes, sir, you got the cash on there, so everything working, everything good. The only thing I'm missing right now is probably the um, aux cord, so I can call Anton and tell him how much how dirty he is. Um, I hope he's doing okay though. Everybody, go to his Instagram, send him some love. I don't know how y'all gonna find his Instagram because I sure don't post it. So just look that shit up. <laughs> just look up Antoine's Instagram. You know what I mean? Something like that in Baltimore, the Blase Show. Oh, it's doing it again. You heard that? Oh, you don't got the headphones on, but um. I don't care. It's, but we have we had some technical difficulties. That's why we started a little bit later. But I hopefully it's good because if I, it better be good, because I, I don't give a fuck. Oh my god, I curse. I curse a lot. I curse so much. I don't. I I, I don't. I don't know. I don't notice how much I curse until I be like at work and shit. Mm-hmm. I just realized catching myself walking away saying like fucking crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. But I I look at it I look at it as like I'm trying to get all the curse words out now before I have kids, cause I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a censored ass parent. My my kids not gonna watch a PG thirteen movie until no until they fifteen, just cause I did it like that. They not gonna like they are, are, we gonna we gonna live in the woods. No, we're not. We gonna be chopping wood. We gonna live, it's like no we gonna have a regular ass townhouse in the <laughs> middle of somewhere. And we still gonna be chopping wood for no reason. No, we ain't got a fireplace. Fundamentals gotta get them fundamentals going. 
I don't know what type of fundamentals I want to have my kids to have. I kind of want them to like, like do gardening or some shit. You know what I mean? Learn how to pre- how to prep something, keep it like that. You know what I mean? That'd be nice. But nigga, first to keep before I keep going, nigga, fuck Cody. He stole my idea. He want to fucking um, vlog every day his daughter life. I want to do that. I don't care. Well, what else I'm gonna be doing? I, I don't care. But do it. that nigga, that, that shit crazy though. Um, but yeah, I think that's one of the things. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what else I want my kids to be into, but I mean, sports, I guess. But that shit is all fucking ego boosted as. That's an ego boosted as business, and I don't even want my kids to have an ego. I mean, I feel like kids like kind of naturally find things that they like to do. So. I never really like. I never like was like. I want them like getting like. I would introduce them to certain things, but like I feel like they'll naturally find like what they like to do. You know. What you think your daughter gonna like to do? Probably like coloring books or some shit. I don't know. She probably gonna like karate. Karate. <laughs> it's like no, I don't know what they gonna like. Yeah, man. I don't know. I hope they like it though. Yeah. But you would introduce you would introduce them to gardening first, like that would be. Like, I don't know, cause I don't like being dirty. But gardening is fun. Like you don't necessarily get dirty, dirty. I'm gonna be like, yeah, you don't use no gloves, just walk, <laughs> digging the dirt, get things by washing hands real good. Y'all, so I can make sure they washing their body. You like that, don't you? <laughs> no. Psychological warfare. But no, I don't know what I want to get. Something like that. Like, probably, like, I don't know. I'm really a bitch when it comes to a lot of stuff. Like, I don't want to do no fishing, like, touching fish and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. But wanna... what if they, like, like, if, if, if you, if you, like, if they really come to you and were like, I want to do this, like, fishing, like, you going to take them fishing? Ew. Even though you don't like it? Because, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they can have an interest that you don't, you're not interested in. Because they are their own person. Like, you know what I mean? But they came from my nutsack. But does not mean that they're going to have the same, like... I guess you're right. Interest. I guess you're right. I guess these type of podcasts would be easier to edit, like, how that shits be on Instagram, because, like, it's just one person. Oh, yeah. So you don't got to, like, <laughs> keep going to Switch that shit up. I would just mostly be cutting this shit or whatever. Just a random thought. But, nigga, like... You get, I want to hear your opinion on the Kanye West shit the end of the documentary. I mean, what do you mean? Like, did I like it or like about Kanye? Like, what did you like? What like? How did you? How did it make you feel? Like when you first started watching it? I mean, I thought I thought the first part of like the first part of the documentary. Like, I didn't know. I wasn't. A, let me just. I wasn't a Kanye fan before the documentary. I wasn't listening to Kanye like I mean old Kanye, but I wasn't listening. I I wasn't there listening to Donda. I missed the old Kanye. So I mean, like watching it, watching the first part, and then seeing like it was certain parts that was like, it was like wow, like and I just started thinking like wow, they really like taped this so long ago, like you know what I mean? Oh, that shit manifested his whole life. Literally, literally, and it's documented. I know. Like yeah. studio sessions making these certain songs, they're like. This nigga, this nigga was in his doc. This nigga was in his. This nigga was in a uh, surgery chair for for his for his teeth shit. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh hell no, I'm about to go fuck some shit up. But it was like it was also cool, like just to see like the transition, cause like I mean, if you if you weren't like a Kanye fan, like been a Kanye fan, then like you're probably just gonna know about like the times when he was like lashing out and stuff like that like you know what i mean like doing certain stuff like that like you wouldn't know like he had a personality outside of that no literally this nigga kanye made everybody love him then made everybody hate him then made everybody love him again right then made everybody hate him again with the george bush hate black people then i guess the same thing in the taylor swift shit then they really stopped fucking with him with the trump 
Yeah. Now everybody like they not they like it's nothing he can do that for, for that video. But I do think that like his mother like has something to do with that too. Cause he really started like going crazy. Well, I'm not gonna say crazy. I'm just gonna say like he started um doing unusual things. Being irrational. Yeah. yeah. Just making impulsive decisions, I think, after that. But you know, his mother died. Like, and if you if you watch it, like you see how cool, like that literally was like his right, like you know what I mean. Like, that was literally his number one fan. Right. Hell yeah, that shit. That shit was sad watching the video. They, it's, it's sad how they gonna play the videos back right after she died. Like they won making them cry, but I'm not a bitch. I ain't cry. I was over that bitch like. I would have cried if I was by myself. No, I'm never. I don't. I'm, I only cried. The only movie I probably ever cried to was like Prison Break. Oh, I did cry to Inside <laughs> Out. <laughs> Inside Out was a good movie. Yeah, it was. It was sad too. Yes, Sersky. Yes, Sersky. They probably like they probably never gonna make no shit like that again. They talking about some turning red. I mean, they they the um you don't know that movie probably gonna be good. Hell yeah, I guess I guess I guess I'm just hating on a new generation. I mean, Inside Out was a fairly new movie. That's not an old movie. Yeah, I guess. Like like just picture like we not gonna be bumping no. We're not gonna be watching no fucking Tinker Bell and like the uh the the white uh what's the bitch name? The one that was in the in the coffin that was dead. Snow White. We're not gonna be playing that type of movie. Like we, I barely even know about that. Like we like our kids are not gonna have no idea what that is. They might. Hell no. I'm definitely gonna play some some old movies. I mean certain shit, but like I'm probably gonna only play like they're gonna like they're gonna memorize Friday. <laughs> but it's the same way with us. Like the mo- some of the movies that we know, like and that we watched growing up, like they were way before we was born. It's not like you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like I was at work, bro, and bro, this old this, this old lady that worked there. She just she really just showed me how old she was. She was like, I remember. <laughs> She had said some shit like I was a child when they was in, in the war. Like, I'm like, damn, you talking about World War, motherfucker? Oh no! I mean, she was talking about Vietnam or some shit. That shit's crazy how old people are. Like, I cannot imagine. Like, we like, like we probably never. We I guess we we not going to war, so I guess like we not really experiencing war in our lifetime. It's a whole war going on right but now. But we not shooting at no shit. You know what I mean? Not right now. Damn, you think we are? Oh yes. Bro, they bombed a hospital, like. They bombed a lot of stuff. I thought at first the only thing I thought, I thought they just bombed like some militant shit, like some base or some shit. No. And we definitely gonna get involved because you already saw how like Biden is reacting to this. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's getting involved. He already said we're gonna cut the gas off. You saw the gas prices going up. They like just buy and send back. Like I'm not letting them bitches hit twenty. They gonna do something. <laughs> you know, cat. That shit crazy. I, I hope bro. they better not draft me. You know what I saw? I saw this meme. They said that you can't get drafted if you're gay or like transsexual or something. For real? Yes. So is it transsexual? Or is it transgender? Is what is transsexual and transgender? What is transsexual? Is transsexual like you fuck anything? I think it's like when you um like when you're into trans people, but I'm really not sure. Oh, oh, and transgender is when you like switch your shit up. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Shout out to Hunter. Let me get three cash just for Hunter. Fucking four of them. That shit crazy. So Hunter gonna have to go to war. Just say yes or no. You not gonna say. I don't know who's gonna have to go to war. I'm gonna have to call. Ask, that. ask Joe Biden. Bro, if he send me to war. Joe Biden. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking around like you not sending these things, all these football players and basketball players. <laughs> Nobody gonna say you. Oh my god. Why they gotta send me? <laughs> Nigga LeBron was like, sorry, I got practice. 
<laughs> I can't do it. Uh, hell no. It's probably going to be hella fuck. We're probably about to have 2022 Muhammad Ali's. Don't you, can't you, don't you go to jail if you, like, refuse to go to the, like, if they pick you up type thing and, like, you refuse to go? Can you go to jail for that? I think Muhammad Ali went to jail for that. That's crazy. Like, you like, I don't want to fight. <laughs> like, how are you going to jail? Bet. Come to court next week. <laughs> then, then watch. As soon as they start drafting niggas, that's when all the court dates going to start coming up. We start getting niggas in and out, sending niggas in jail. Like, it's really crazy how they be like, this is a free country, but, like, that is not, like, that is not free. That's not free, nigga. This, this, nigga, this is your country. They said, you free until they need you. <laughs> this is your country. <laughs> you don't want to fight for it. Like, nigga, no, I'm a fucking nurse. <laughs> I get wa- I get people water for a living. Fuck out of here, man. I can, I don't know. My father, my, bro, my father probably, my father, my father was in the service. So he, right now, he probably think like, man, I was 20 years old, I'll sign up. Fuck that shit. Hey, man, all my niggas in the service, in the military, man, keep your head up. Fucking get an injury. Fucking come back home. Let's turn up. We not going to war. Fuck that shit. Bro, that's some strong niggas in the military. Yes. That's crazy. Them niggas be big as hell. Mm-hmm. Because, like, they, they, you see how they train. In the mud. It's probably the mud getting in that skin. I mean, the girl that, I, the girl that worked at my job, like, she was talking about it, and she was like, they really be, like, their workouts, they be having them running, like, miles, but crack the dawn. And that's just warming up. Fuck. Yeah, dummy, I cannot. I be I'm that I'm that nigga that be in trials. I'm crying like Please no, no, not the turpups. Yeah, I'm a pussy, man. Then what if it's a bug? What is a bomb? Like that girl, she she left the army because um it gave her too much anxiety. I don't blame her. That's and like when she be at work, like it be a little, it be the ice machine go off. She be like, "What's that?" And I be like, "Call that, please." Oh hell no! She got PTDD, <laughs> PT, PTHD. How you say it? PTSD. Oh, tomato, tomato. Bro, why? Well, I'm really in a family group chat. <laughs> and that shit green as hell. Everybody has a family group chat. That shit lame. <laughs> I do not like. Well, you can't leave, bro. One, I can. <laughs> I can leave. Don't give a fuck, bro. One time, niggas, niggas texting randomly in a group chat. I told you, niggas texting randomly in a group chat. Like, man, <laughs> I hope Chris is okay. I'm praying for you, Chris. I'm like, I'm looking in the mirror, like, what the fuck are they talking about, bro? It's it's because like I had like a, I guess because I had like a bad hangover like a week prior to something. And like my mother probably told people I was fucking dying from fucking cancer. Speaking of cancer, nigga, I need to go to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't been to the doctor in so long, nigga. I got it. I felt a little bump in my chest right here. Like a lump? Yeah. Yeah, you need to schedule an appointment. It's a lump right here. And I was at work and I realized it. The bitch, go, the, the shorty gonna say, oh, it's just like, oh, it's just your bone. It's just your bone. Like, it's good. Like, this not been here my whole life, bro. It feel a little, uh, feel a little hard though. Really? Dr. Taylor, hit me up. Uh, should I call my doctor right now? Yeah, you, know, you really should make an appointment. I call them. Oh, they closed. You need to call them tomorrow. Also, because like it's not like you have, you be having chest pains and stuff like that. Like you need to get that checked up. Plus, like, I mean, you're supposed to go to the doctor. How many times are you supposed to go to the doctor a year? Once a month. So it's been some months. Hmm. You go to the real doctor or you go still go to, like, a pediatrician? In the pediatrician, really, like, you check your pussy? No. Pediatrician is a kid doctor. <laughs> But you can still go there until I think you can still go there until like you're like 24 or something. No, nah, I be in an adult. I be with adults. Adults. Shout out to my adults. Uh, yeah, I need to go to the doctor, W. This is not okay. Kids, if you're watching this, don't do drugs. Don't drink. And go to the doctor every month. Everything else you can do. 
period. But don't do no crack, too. I forgot. Don't put nothing in your nose. That shit hurt. You ever put something in your nose? Yeah. I remember one time I, I had like, ew, <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> what would you put in your nose? <laughs> like, when I was in middle school, like, you know how, like, people used to, like, smoke Smarties and shit like that? And, like, you little... sniffed it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're a gremlin. You sniffed a Smartie? Yo, you thought you had that shit lined up like crack, didn't you? No, like I had just like broke it up in there. <laughs> you and like, cause like I'm I'm type person where like, and I used to be I used to be way worse like, where like people would do something like, oh they would just smoke the smarties, but I'd be like, <laughs> I snip it. <laughs> so what was something? Name something that was way worse than that, please. You eat glue? No, I'm saying like I used to be like like compared to now, like I'm not just like if I see you fucking. Smoking a smarty, like I'm not just gonna be like I can one up that, like you know what I mean. Like I used to think everything was a competition. Like, do you still do? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do nothing stupid like that. <laughs> you already did. That's why. So how did you feel when you sniffed that smart? Oh, no, wait, explain to me this. Like I want you to walk. Like what day was it? What did the room smell like? What was I don't niggas up to? What day it was? But I was in class. Like I, it was in middle school, and I was in class, and it was like one of those classes where like. You know the teacher don't be paying attention like you just every like you know what I mean? It's like a, a free period every class. And y'all be just working. You know what I mean? And I used to sit in the back and I had some like somebody like we had some smarties because everybody had smarties, like you know what I mean? Fucking junkies. Found them from somebody. Stole them from somebody. And and like my own girls, like they used to have like packs of smarties, like and like candy packs, like you know what I mean? The whole of Halloween bags. <laughs> Fucking criminals. And I was like, they was just like, they was like, oh yeah, we gonna smoke them or whatever. Like just, you know, being dumb, or whatever. And I was like, I sniffed it. And it was like, you not gonna sniff it. And that's just feel like a challenge to me when somebody tell me I can't. You sniffed that shit. And I was like, yeah, give it to me. And I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Like, because I was like, I didn't want to sniff Yo, you could have died. You could have, you could literally like, you could have sniffed poison and died like I right know. there in class. And I just. You know how you, you, know how you <laughs> gotta do in the package. <laughs> Had it all a little crushed up. It was still some like big piece. Good thing, a good thing I ain't had one of them big. Oh, pieces. motherfucker! And I just had it like open a little bit so I could just. Bro, yo, if I was a teacher, <laughs> she wasn't even paying attention. Bro, I would have been like, yo, send this kid. To, like this kid needs help. Like my nose was burning up. <laughs> And my eyes started watering, but I was like, Was you high? I don't know. Oh, hell no. You stupid. I felt like I needed to go to the nurse. That's what I felt like. Yo, not the nurse. But I was good, though. After, like, yeah. how long? Like, when the class was over, I was pretty good. Like, I just, like, had to, like, blow my nose and stuff like that. Get it out. I cannot believe you snitched with Smarty. We need the Kayla cam. I don't keep doing stuff like that no more. Make you, every episode make you do some wild shit. <laughs> Sniff this apple cider. I mean, if I ever got like amped up enough, I really like I don't know what I would do. Cause like I just feel like everything be a challenge. Like, don't tell me I can't be something. That is not good. But not like nothing crazy, like no more. Obviously, no, nigga, I did not. You just said give me amped up enough. Okay, but certain stuff, I'm like I'm not I'm I'm old enough to know now. But back then, I I am dropping a lose. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I can get you snort some cocaine now. No, I wouldn't. I've been in situations where I could have done that and I didn't. With Becky. Hmm. With Becky. For money. With Becky. Huh? Don't you know the white girl Becky? Oh no, <laughs> no. Not where. Shout out, shout out to her though. Shout out to Shorty. Hope you doing okay. But no, not where. In college. Yeah, they was doing it up Towson sniffing shit. Not out Towson, but like the parties and stuff like that, like off campus, like in those apartments and stuff like that. They definitely was doing, and they was doing more than that. Bruh. I just seen, I was at a white party before. I seen a bitch snort a line. Yeah, it be, it be at those parties. I seen a white bitch snort a line with a McDonald's straw. Like, you know how big them bitches be? Yeah. 
That bitch look like that bitch look like goddamn mini vacuum. <laughs> I fucked it too. Felt like felt like felt like she had like a little felt like she had like um like a little like a pre workout thing. You know what I mean? And she was so ready, like she was up, like she was. <laughs> Hope she doing okay. She's probably dead in the ditch somewhere. But. Yeah, nigga. Hugh Hefner is a dirty motherfucker. He sure is. If you're stuck under a rock or you're too busy looking at the Kim Kardashian and Kanye West beef, there's a new documentary that came out recently. What camera am on this one? There's a new documentary that came out recently. This time I'm going to be reporting the news. Oh, it's a new camera. It's a new camera. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start over. <laughs> Bruh. It's a new documentary that dropped this year, 2022, that talks about, that goes more into detail of the lifestyle of Hugh Hefner and his play bunnies. And these niggas was wildin'. Wouldn't you say so, Shorty? Yeah, they were. How bad were they wildin'? I think you gotta turn your mic up, so. How bad were they wildin'? They were doing some crazy stuff. Oh, it's because you have your mic muted, nigga. They was doing some crazy stuff. Damn, your mic was muted this whole time. No, I just muted you just now. Oh, well now, now now when you say they doing some crazy stuff, what was the first thing that come to your mind? What's the craziest thing? Yes. They were doing inappropriate things with dogs. What they was like? Dogs. First of all, I wish you could see these dogs because I'm sorry to them. Every dog in the every every dog that I saw in the documentary, they all look scared. It looked like one of those commercials, like where they be at the pound. I never seen I never seen a nigga. Every time you take I never seen a nigga that every time you take a picture with a dog, the dog looking back at him like. <laughs> yeah. So so do you want to explain the story how how one of Hugh Hefner's girlfriend walked in on him? Walked in on him having sex with the home dog. I guess she was coming home. Was she? Was she? Wasn't she just coming home? Or yeah. was she just like you know? Something like that. Just coming to the room, chilling for real, thinking she about to just come in, talk to him, have a little conversation, tell about her day type thing. And he in there. You got to see the demonstration because they they can't see you. You might have to go up and get the camera and, and direct it. I'm just put it on the other one. They'll see you. All right, get up. Just move towards that way, though. Okay, guys. This is a demonstration of the documentary on how Hugh Hefner had sexual intercourse with a dog unconsensually. Is that doing right? That's it, right? Yeah. Picture a black little poodle fluffy dog. Small. Small. Like this small. Like you can pick that bitch up like, oh. He had that bitch. His the head was facing this way. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> that nigga Chris Nasty. And then he said, "Dogs need love too." That shit crazy, son. Like he didn't. He and every the crazy thing is, is like every like when women were like describing like their situations when they would like catch him and doing certain things, like he would really just have an excuse for it. Like it wouldn't be like, dang, like at least he at least he wasn't even like tight to be like, I messed up like type thing. Like you know what I mean? Like I ain't mean to do it. Like he ain't he didn't lie. He was like, if Bitch, I'm not what? gonna do it, who gonna do it? What, bitch? Ain't no other dogs in here to fuck him. Like, he justified all of that. Like, every crazy thing that he did, he justified it. And that's that's what makes it worse. And then every time a bitch looked at him, he'd look at him like, what, what, what? Right. Like, it was okay that he was allowed to... Like, he wasn't ever put in jail. No. <sighs> like, that's... Bro, that documentary just came out. So, like, that shit just breaking news. Yeah. And he's dead now. But it was... But like, that other girl before he was... Before he died... She put out um she put out that book, remember? 
I guess they, but I don't know if she put the dog thing in there. I think he was just talking. She was just talking about how like they, how they treat the women there. Because she probably didn't walk in on them doing that shit. Because because right. remember how they said it was like different time points. Like they like you know what I mean. Then also, another. This is a whole different. This this is a whole different dog. Picture a big ass German Shepherd. Right. This is this. I'm gonna give you a 2022 perspective on what this nigga was doing. Imagine you and your homeboys kicking it back, playing some cards, and one of the niggas, aka Hugh Hefner, go like, "Hey, I got a show for you guys to watch." And next thing you know, you see a big ass police German Shepherd walk in, and then after that. You see fucking the porn star Pinky. Right? Then they sitting there. The next thing you know, he having says go or some shit like that. And Shorty and and it reminds you, Pinky, to give you some context, Pinky fucked up. Like she she smoked some weed, she took a couple perks, she off the henny. She fucked up. She wobbling still. She's standing still going like this. Oh shit, throughout the tip over. And then she say go. And then Hugh Hefner say go. And then picture Pinky giving a German Shepherd. Am I going to get bandit for this? I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to say just, I'm just going to end it there. Just, just picture Pinky giving a German Shepherd, German Shepherd, the Gawk Gawk 3000. Is that a good way to explain it, sensor dice? Yeah, huh? Or. You said what? Like oral. Oral, yes. Tomato, tomato. Shit nasty. Yeah. <laughs> and like, the I guess I guess her last strike with Hugh Hefner was like when she when he was like, hey, have you ever seen a, a schmuck puck or something? Mm-hmm. And she was like, no, what's a schmuck puck? He was like, that's when you have sex with a girl, and you kill at the end. Oh yeah. Like who says that? He and like and like the way he said it, he said it like Shorty was sitting right here. He was like, "Yeah, and like at the end, just kill him." Like, yeah. And he said that waiting for a response. Like, yeah. And the crazy thing is, I'm pretty sure like that some girls like they was so like like he had them so fucked up that like they probably was like they wasn't even listening like to what he was saying like and they probably went up. You know what I mean? Cause I'm pretty sure like the like stuff in that stuff in the documentary is not even all the stuff that he has done. You think somebody that's done all this stuff has not killed somebody? You know the the influence that this man had. No cap, he had a bitch kill herself. Right. Without even like saying anything to her, like writing any letters, calling her. He had a whole team of people that like he could get away with anything. He got away with all of this stuff. Literally. All the stuff that we're talking about, all the stuff that's crazy about him, like, it's like, oh my gosh, like, he should be in jail. He's dead now. This nigga, this nigga was, nigga was fucking with Donald Trump, nigga had TV, nigga had commercials. And the whole fact that, like, this documentary came out when he died, the fact that it didn't come out before then, these women were scared. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, he had so much influence. Like, so it, I, I would not put a passion that he killed somebody. He killed multiple people. Now imagine a nigga having so much influence, but he like not doing that shit. He like doing it positively. Who do you think is best for that role? What you mean? Like anybody in the world? Like completely? Nobody. Me. Yeah. But I feel like anybody, like, I'm not saying, like, it would ever go to that type of extreme type thing, but anybody that has a little bit of, like, that has an influence, like, it, like, you know what I mean? Like, you abuse that shit. Mm hmm. Hell yeah. It's kind of like human nature, though, like, type of thing. Hell yeah. When you find, when you find a fucking orange, when you find an orange tree, you gonna come there every day. And you ain't been got nothing to eat. That's why I don't want, I don't want that much influence. Yeah, you're right. Me neither. That shit corny. I don't even. I don't, don't even want to know. Like I, put, I don't know. Like you don't, never know how you're gonna act when you in that position. No, for real. Like, you can only imagine what you what you think you're gonna do in that position. Like type of thing. It's just like Kanye when he was when he was when he was a little bit down. He didn't know how he was gonna be. You couldn't imagine where he would be right now. This nigga never imagined himself fucking 
putting a whole bunch of trapezoids on his head. Like, I guess you're right. That's why I don't even want to find out. Yeah. Me neither. That shit corny. Yeah, yo. To all the people that's watching this right now or that was watching this after the fact, don't try to be anybody famous. Don't try to have an influence on anybody. You're going to become a slave owner, <laughs> basically. You know what I mean? You'll become a slave owner. No, I don't think that like it has to be negative for everybody. What I'm saying is that you don't know what you would be in that position. Like, you know what I mean? But like, I feel like if you, if your goal is to be that influential, because like some people's goal really is to be that, and like it's nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. But you just gotta. You gotta know how to stay to keep that same mindset. Yeah. <sighs> And just like just be a little humane when you think about certain things that he do like you know what i mean like i was watching this roddy rich interview by academics like he was interviewing roddy rich and like he was like bro like when you get to this level you have enough money to literally do anything to anybody at any time like i never thought i never concept that i couldn't concept that you know what i mean because like I don't like I don't I mean but I could cuz like but but I couldn't like you know what I mean nobody can understand stuff that. He was talking about how he was he was Roddy Rich said some shit like he his mother started doing like real estate and shit. <coughs> and she wanted to buy this apartment complex. He was like cuz academics had asked him like what moment what moment did your parents realize that you was really getting money that you was really doing this thing? And he was he basically explained this story about how his mother was like, yo, I, I want to get this. I'm looking like this is the this is my goal. Like this is when I want to get when I get enough money. It was like a million dollar, like apartment complex type thing. And like literally like the day after that, he pulled up with a million dollars cash. He's like, yo, you can do this. Like imagine having that much power. Right. Like they niggas never literally niggas don't get that power. Until recently, obviously. But. And that's good, but like the thing is, like it just depends on the person, like because not everybody, I think not everybody would know how to handle all of that. I wouldn't know how to handle it. That's the thing, like I feel like you have to know that about yourself, though. Because some people, some people just want to be famous, like and they want to have a whole bunch of money, and then like they get it for no reason, like they don't know why they want to have it, they just want to do it. Yeah, and then the thing is, like. Like they don't want to have it so they can like you know like they don't want to buy they, they people's a house. Like, and like oh, I just want to start my own clothing brand. Or like they want to buy like they want to buy like thirteen cars and like fifteen pounds of weed. Like you know what I mean? Like it's something that's like you know what I mean? They don't want to help anybody. Like you know what I mean? And I feel like it's okay to like if you if you make that amount of money, it's okay to use what you earn on yourself. But like you also have to have like some sort of purpose for having all that money. Like you know what I mean? I guess you don't, but. It just depends on the type of person you are. You really like, don't need to have no purpose to make that money. Yeah. I guess it's just, like, it comes down to, like, your morals type thing. Yeah. And, like, a lot of people don't have anything. And then especially in the business of entertainment, like, everybody's an influence. So the way you make your money is influencing. Mm -hmm. So that that's another thing that that's another thing that comes into the circle when you start making money and start being an influencer, like. Yeah. You don't like you might you might be the you might be a, like you saw how Kim Kardashian was. Yeah. We was watching that video. Shout out to that gay nigga. What's his name? I don't know. Let me look it up. I don't want to just say that gay nigga and <laughs> be like, cause I definitely subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna find it. Um. Like slogan, slow, slow for in. So S L O for N. That's the channel I've been watching. Yo, he be he 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 was exposing Kim Gashian. Though this bitch said she couldn't even pay for gas. Yeah. And she was like, how long? Because we people they treat like I mean people that have a lot of money like sometimes they'll treat people, the people that help them. Yeah. Like shit. Like, bro, if she would have never. If that video would have never got to the internet about how she was talking that shit about getting your own shit and working, like nobody probably would have never found that shit out. Yeah. But now thousands of people know. I mean, but like on a scale wise, I guess it's not really that big. Let me see how many views that shit got. But like, do you realize like besides Kim Kardashian, do you know how many rich people that have grown up rich that have money their whole life has said like, 
work if hard. If people, if people like just worked harder. I wish, bro. I wish Molly Molly Cyrus would say that to me. <laughs> I'd be like, you Hannah Montana musical fucking Disney motherfucking but bitch. It, it seems like it's always the people that have been in power to say something like that. Cause like it's people like if you were like if a person like you rarely hear that from somebody that like started off with nothing that came up type thing say like, well if you just work hard because like not everybody is put like you could work hard every single day and still end up with nothing. Like you know what I mean. Cause people like you see that stuff every single day. Like people like literally like break their box, break break their backs every single day. Like till they're old and they can't work anymore, and they still just live like regular people. Like you know what I mean? They literally have worked their entire life the hardest that they could, and people just like that's why it just be like it just be a slap in the face when it just be somebody that just came up or like they've been up and they just, like you gotta shit. work hard. Yeah, like and they just like you just need to work harder. I wish a nigga would. I like I I'm, I'm personally me at the point. I feel like I wish a nigga would how hard I. Sh- I wish a nigga would tell me how hard I should work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm at the point right now. Nobody can tell me to work harder, and I'd be like, I'm not doing enough. Like I don't. Mm-hmm. The only person that could tell me I'm not doing enough is me. Yeah. I got and that's how it point. should be. <clears throat> that what I think is I think that everybody in the world should just mind their business and worry about themselves. Know what I mean? And stop telling everybody what they should and should not do. That's impossible. Like, the shade room makes millions of dollars. I know. Like, it's that's the thing. Like, people are never just gonna mind their business. People literally, like, they just mind other people's business for fun, for free. For frizzy. You know that's, how many bitches probably probably tweeted when 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 they was like, yeah, little meat stink. Like it was like, for example, I saw a picture on the shade room, obviously, because that's where you see the most people minding other people's business. It was literally a picture of some walker buying groceries from the store, but she had on this like this little dress or whatever. And people like and all it said, all they commented, and like the thing is, the shade room knows what they're doing when they post these pictures. Like in their comments, be like, "Oh, look at some walker, she's buying all these fruits and vegetables." Like, and they knew like they, she was gonna get negative comments based off how she was dressed, cause she had on like this little this little dress with like the little scarf on. Like she looked like you know back in the day. Like you know what I mean. But honestly, I wish I wish you could honestly you can go to the Instagram and try to find it. Ah, it's, it's, it's one, I I'm talking about on a laptop. Oh. You gotta do three swipes to go back to the internet. Hello, wait. Let me do something real quick. Okay. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do something. Okay. You gonna put it on the you gonna put it next to the camera? Yeah. Cause I didn't see that shit. Show me first. But that, bro, that shit, like, it's, cause businesses like that, like Shade Room and TMZ, they know what they're doing. They know it's millions of people that don't got shit to do but go to work and come home and get on TikTok. All right. So they, they, they making millions off a day off of that. Oh my God, she found it. Oh, hell no. Okay. But what I'm saying is like, okay, so what? How, however she wants to dress, like whatever, like she can do whatever she wants. Like. Show the people. You can twist the, you can twist the max so you can see a little. I mean, you gonna, you gonna be able to see it on the camera, if you look at the camera. Oh yeah. Is it working? Yeah. So that's what she's talking about, guys. Damn, I see it. So yeah, regardless of how she's dressed, it's so many people like there. But the comment, the shade room's comment was. Okay, it looks like Summer Walker is making some healthier choices when it comes to her diet with some like clapping hand emojis. And literally the first comment is color purple. <laughs> color purple? Yes. Oh hell no. She said like she's going through a hearing and tongue meeting. That's the second comment. Bruh, she probably woke up that morning. She probably don't got nothing on under that. She probably stink. Who? Summer Walker. She probably doesn't. Though the thing is, like, who cares how however she's dressing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if she wanted to put on some designer suit, like, she makes enough money to do that. You do know that. Like, she makes enough. She dresses how she wants to dress. But the thing is, like, people don't mind their business, and like, they just worry about what everybody else do. Yeah, it's a business for that. Just like how it's a business for hella fat people that want to lose weight. Yeah. 
So it's just another business that people extort. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. That'd be a like, I, I, like that's like that's that's like that's why like I always felt different as hell because like I never seen myself being like, oh, I just want to be a famous rapper. Mm-hmm. Like I always saw myself doing some shit like nigga. I want to start like a fuck. I want to make like a. I want to make like a protein shake and sell it to somebody. Right. Make millions of dollars. And be- like that's the thing. Like it's a difference between having influence and being wealthy. Like you know what I mean. It's nothing wrong. with Cause that. you don't need both of those. No. You know what I mean. It's twenty twenty two. You can literally like nigga. I could I could start working for Clorox today. Right. And then work my way up. Next thing you know, I'm making designs for them. Mm-hmm. Like you can literally do that. But the thing is, like, I feel like the wrong people have influence. Like, it's nothing wrong with wanting to have money. Like, if you have money, you can buy what you want to buy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But people want money, and they want the they want their face, like, front center type thing. Like, you know what I mean? And they be, like, the people that should not be front center to be one of that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Uh, I mean, yeah, man. I don't never want to be that shit. You know what I mean? And then, like, I know you I know niggas might think, like, so why are, you, why are you doing all this shit to post this up on YouTube? Like, it's literally, it's literally, YouTube is literally, like, a file, big-ass file cabinet that has unlimited storage. Like, people don't understand that when YouTube first, like, because people wasn't, a lot of people weren't watching YouTube videos, like, when YouTube really first, like, they didn't have YouTube when it was, like, the old Apple thing. Like, you know what I mean? They didn't have YouTube. And people made YouTube videos just to post things that they people, wanted to People post. made YouTube videos to be like, hey, I'm going to this party tonight, Jake. I want you to meet me there. Right. Or, like, they just wanted to do anything. Like, whatever they were interested in. Like, say they wanted to, like, sit there and talk to themselves on camera because they just, like, they didn't want to post it on Facebook. They want to post it on YouTube. So that's why I'm saying, like, when people, like, say that about it now, just because it's, like, more, like, it's bigger now, like, they don't know where YouTube started at. Like, yeah, that exactly. was the whole purpose behind YouTube. Exactly. Like, exactly. Not everybody. Now people starting a YouTube because they want to be YouTube famous. And they want to be, the they wanna be Jake check. Paul. Yeah. Like, people start literally start YouTube because they be like, oh, them YouTube checks be good. You know what I mean? Now, it's not like a thing where it's like, oh, I want to start YouTube because I just like it. It's a hobby. Because, like, most times YouTube starts out as a hobby for people. That's why you started fucking with me? Because what? Because you had a YouTube? No, <laughs> because I wasn't the nigga to be like, yeah, I'm doing this shit to get famous. Yeah, and everything that like that you do is not to get famous. It's because you genuinely like to do it. What you mean? Like the thing, like you, you, you start things because you like to do them. You started the podcast not because you thought you was gonna make money from it. Mm-hmm. You started because you like to do it, and you thought it was cool. You had an interest in doing it. Yeah, I guess you're right. You started making music not because you wanted to make money. I mean, that's what people like started to do now. Like they like, oh, I want to be. That's the, the only the reason they start. They be like, yeah, why? They be like, interviews be like, so why you started rapping? They be like, yeah, man, this is my fourth time coming home from jail, and I just had a daughter. I'm like, yo, I gotta switch it up. Right. Or like, I hate it when people like they'll start doing something like for money, and then like. They, somebody asked them why did they start that, and then they just lie, like, <laughs> like, cause you can tell when somebody is lying about why they started something, cause like you really don't have a like, you can tell when somebody is really passionate about doing something, and when they're just like lying about it. How? Use me as an example. Like, if I were to ask you, like, oh, cause like when you ask somebody, when people ask you about the things that you do, or if you ask them about your podcast, like you downplay it by a lot like you'd be like oh it's just like you know what i mean i'm just fucking around like, you know what i mean do you think so yes i don't think so i see it how but when other people when you ask them about something they'd be like oh yeah i started this because i don't know it just be like this whole like this whole story that they said like it sounds like they like they literally thought this up you know what I mean? Like, most people, like, they don't have to, like, you can't explain. Like, sometimes when you're passionate about something, like, you can't explain why you are. And that's how I was? Mm-hmm. I, I, th- I, I thought I was, I wasn't specific. What you mean? 
Like, I didn't think I was like, I didn't think I was like that. Like, I thought I told you, like, a reason, like, I'm doing this because of this. You say you feel like you were doing it because of a certain reason? No, that's what I thought I told you. That you were doing it because of a certain reason? I mean, like, so, I mean, you have a reason for doing it. I mean, everybody has a reason for doing anything that they do. But I'm talking about, like, they don't have a story that's set from, like, June 2nd. (laughs) <laughs> like you know what I mean like this day I, I thought of this I just woke up felt like I had to start something yeah or like oh I've been I've been like you know how like when people be lying they be saying like oh yeah like say they was a say they were um I was just showing you say they say they, they're, they're a rapper now and they say oh yeah I've been making music since I was like three you think they was making music since they was three this did not count Hell yeah, they do not count listening to music. I, I admit it, like, yeah, I took a long-ass break from music. But I'm saying, like, you be lying. Like, they be like, oh, yeah, I've been doing it since I've been out the womb. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, they exaggerate their stories. But, like, the whole reason why they started it was, made, like, monetarily for most people, for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But it's not like that for everybody. All I'm saying is you can, you can spot a faker. Am I a faker? No. What am I? Because if you were a faker, like if you were, if you were like, Can't if you fart. wanted to do this for money, like you would, you would have been stopped. <laughs> <laughs> like, no honestly. cap. I'm at episode. I'm almost at episode forty. Like you would have been done. Like you would not be trying to like. You know what I mean? Like, Shorty, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of want to plan something else special for episode fifty. Okay, plan something else. What you thinking? Thing. You can't say it on the camera. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. What if I? Had, I'm like I'm trying to do some special shit. Like I want to have like somebody like Tato on a Blase show or some shit. Or like if you wanted to, like since it's, since you at thirty, you at thirty or six. Like you have a few episodes to kind of like come up. I'm, I'm gonna tell you later. <sighs> Sorry, I just farted. You know what it smell like? Perks and lean. <laughs> Bro, that shit. You heard, you, you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that shit so clear in the mic. I can hear it out here. Holy shit. I'm sorry, guys. I've been shitting all day. Yo, I be at work, like, really stressing on the toilet. Like, ugh. How long we been on? 52 minutes. Yes, Sersky. You know what it's time to do. Hey, man. Signing off message. Let me do a signing off rant. Let me think of something. You heard what Wakanita said. Don't do this shit for monetary gain. Because you're going to fail every time. If you want to get in this business, you better do that shit. You better do that shit for a different reason than monetary gain. If you want to get into any business, you better get into it for any, no money because that shit, you're not going to make no money from it, nigga. And why would you want to make money from something that you don't like to do? Period. Period. Like, if you want to go hard for something, at least go hard for something that you that you like to do or passionate about. Walking it to prove I'm that nigga. She just nodded. Yes, sir. Three, two goddamn shits. Um... It's one shot left in my cup. And I'm going to finish it when off camera with Shawty. Um, thank you for tuning in to the $20 million podcast. Number one podcast on earth. It's your boy, Blase Chris, a.k.a. Low Thugger, a.k.a. Christopher Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole lot of this, whole lot of that. Um, you know I appreciate you, right, Shawty? I think I appreciate you more than God. No. I say that on camera. Record that. No. Record it. <laughs> so, you know, but um, $20 million podcast. I see y'all pussy boys next week. Blase show. Out this bitch. Run the outro. Cheers to a good episode. Yeah. Walking it up, it's a show. 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 It's a show.
Let's get the fuck out of here. How many bars that shit on?